Hi, I'm James with the OneHourSmartHome.com and today we're going to show you the nest wiring diagram if you have four wires. This is the most typical setup for a nest HVAC system and we'll explain what each of these wires means, what it does, and a little bit about how your HVAC system works so you can confidently install your nest and make sure that you have the wires in the right place. So this right here represents our nest. If you were to take off your nest or look behind the cover or when you open the box, there is a base plate. On that base plate, you have all these different wiring terminals. Over here, we've represented our furnace. And then on the side, we've represented what is called a terminal block, which is an electronic circuit inside of the furnace. For your furnace to work, what happens is you have a connection between the terminal block and your thermostat. And what's happening is your R wire provides power to the thermostat. And then depending on what setting you have the nest on, whether heat or cool, it will then send that signal back down the terminal block to the appropriate terminal to trigger your furnace to turn on. So the nest over here has way more terminals than we need from our furnace in way more terminals than typically the number of wires that we have. Now, if you've got more than four wires, you can just stop watching this video. We've got another one that explains the complete wiring diagram for the nest for more complicated HVAC systems. But if you've got a four wired furnace and a four wire thermostat, this is gonna probably be the simplest explanation for you. So what you have over here is a variety of different terminals. The Y1 is your cooling terminal or your air conditioning terminal. Y2 is just second stage air conditioning. So think of it putting your air conditioning in high power. G is a fan wire. And what the G does is it's just a fan inside your HVAC system that circulates air. It will circulate air when you have the heat on, it will circulate air when you have the cooling on, or you can just have your system circulating air throughout your home, which some people like to do in mild weather, or it can be used to kind of level out the heating and cooling in your home because it just continually circulates air and it's much more energy efficient than having your furnace or air conditioner on all the time. Just circulating the air does help. Then you've got OB, which is used for a heat pump, and that is what's called a reversing valve because heat pumps basically work on the principle of either removing heat from your home or transferring heat from the outside into your home. Because most four wire systems do not use a heat pump, I'm not gonna cover that. We do have another video on heat pump wiring, which you can search for one hour smart home and heat pump wiring, and I'm sure it'll pop up on YouTube. After OB, we have what's called the RC wire, or the RC terminal. The RC terminal is used for heating or power from a cooling system. So if you have dual fuel systems, which you wouldn't have with a four wire setup typically, this RC terminal would be used to provide power from the cooling system. Now RC and RH in a four wire nest system are typically basically the same thing. They're just inputs for power. So you can have the R terminal power going to either RH or RC and it doesn't matter. It's not gonna hurt anything if you put the R wire in RH or RC, but for sake of convention, I typically like to put the R wire from the furnace and from your old thermostat into RH. And this is another thing a lot of people get confused on. A lot of times in an old style thermostat, you'll see a jumper wire from RC to RH. You don't need to do that in a nest thermostat system. There's no need for that. It's all internal circuitry that figures that out. So R, either RC or RH, is just an input for power. That's what powers the nest. That is what goes through the nest and then provides a signal back down to the furnace. And it is designed in such a way that you could use RC for power from a separate cooling system if it wasn't connected to your furnace and HVAC system, system, which is very rare. And you could have another power to your RH terminal from the heating system, which would be separate from your AC system. 
but these are both very rare occurrences. And typically you'll only have a dual fuel setup if you've got a boiler combined with a heat pump or a boiler combined with an air conditioner. Outside of those two scenarios, typically you're gonna have everything, your furnace and your AC and air handling all in one device. That's like 99% of homes, I would say. So RH is the power. We're going to have the R wire going from R to RH. The star terminal is used for accessories. It can be used for a dehumidifier or a humidifier. We've got a video on how to wire a humidifier for the nest as well. You can search that. Uh, the C terminal is the common wire terminal. Now in a four wire system, you usually don't have a common wire, but if you are having low power wire issues or low power issues with your nest, you may need to add a common wire, which you can do. And we've got a video on how to do that as well. It sounds like we've just got videos on all this stuff, which we do because we get a lot of questions on the nest and how it wires up because it's a very popular thermostat. I've got one in my home and a lot of people like these. The W2, that is second stage heating. If you have a HVAC system that's newer, basically it's just like the second stage cooling. It just kicks your heating into high gear. It's blowing more hot air quicker throughout your house if you've got W2 or second stage heating. And the last one is W1, which is heating. So what we have for each one of these is you probably have four wires in your actual nest thermostat or the old thermostat that you took off. Before you take that off, you should have taken a picture. That's what you need to do. That's the best way to do this. But if you didn't take a picture, you can still figure out which wires go where. If you open up your furnace, make sure that it's off. And inside your furnace, you're gonna see a terminal block that will probably have these uh, letters on it. C, W, Y, G, and R, and maybe a couple other letters on them. Uh, but you don't really need to know about the other letters if you have a four wire system. But you could open up your furnace and usually it's either in the top a little section or the bottom a little section, wherever you see a circuit board and then you see the little thermostat wires going to, you can tell which wires go where. Typically, the wires are supposed to follow convention of W is supposed to be white, Y is supposed to be yellow, G is supposed to be green, and R is supposed to be red. That's typically what's supposed to happen, but some people do remodeling or some people just have a contractor that, I don't know, is colorblind or something like that, and they mix up and jumble all the colors. Typically they don't, but sometimes they do. So what you have to do is connect your R wire or red wire to RH on the nest. You connect, which is your heat, uh, which is your power. So R to R, red to red, which is power, which powers the whole thermostat. G, which would be your green wire, green, G to G, which is your fan wire. Y, which is your cooling wire, goes from uh, Y to Y1, which should be a yellow wire. W is your white wire, it should be, which will go from W to W1. And then that is your four wires that connect to your thermostat. So when you get a call for, um, let's say heat, we'll just do heat. What you have going on is you've got power coming through here from your R, your R is your power. It goes into the R, it goes into the nest circuitry and your nest is saying, okay, it's time to heat. So you've got it turned up to 80, that power goes back down the W1 wire like so and it flows down to the W1 terminal, and that tells your furnace to turn on the burner and start producing heat. And it goes through all the electrical circuitry in there and that circuit board that tells the furnace to do that. If you were calling for air conditioning, so you've got it turned down to 50, it's a very hot day in the summer. What you would still have is power coming from the R. Power always comes from the R goes through the RH into the nest. And then the nest says, okay, cooling. It closes the appropriate internal circuit inside here. And then power goes back down the Y1 terminal, the yellow wire, Y, and it goes down to the Y terminal on the furnace. 
and it turns on your air conditioning. And I'm using the term furnace because that's everybody, that's what everybody kind of thinks of, but really it's your HVAC system or it's an air handler with a furnace and air conditioner attached. But uh, that is what would happen. Power goes from R down to W or R down to Y and uh, turns on the air conditioning in your system. Now, if you were just circulating air, let's say it's a 70 degree day and you have the nest off and you also have it so it's not gonna go up in temperature or off in temperature, you've got an eco mode or you just wanna run the fan. What happens then is power goes from the R terminal because power always comes from the R. It goes up through the RH to the internal circuitry in the nest and it goes back down the G terminal right here, which activates the fan and will just circulate air throughout your home. So that is the nest wiring diagram for four wires. We hope you enjoyed this. If you've got any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. You can look at some of the other videos, just search one or smart home on YouTube and the, uh, the topic that you're looking for related to nest, we probably have another video on it. And we hope you enjoyed this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if this was helpful. And we'll see you next time. We've got all kinds of great smart home tips, tricks, and reviews for you. Thank you.